All right, guys, so I'm hanging out in the fish room, listening to Bob's chat, his uh, live stream. So a lot of the time, you know, I'm in here doing stuff, but, uh, you know, listening to the stream. I got it muted, obviously, right now. So, um, hey, guys, thanks for hanging out with me while I do stuff. <laughs> so I got a package in the mail. This is the first time I've ordered anything from Select Aquatic. Uh, Greg Sage is amazing. I love his live bears and stuff. My water is terrible for live bears though because I just have soft, super soft San Francisco water. So the fish that do well for me are soft water fish. So I don't think I'll be keeping any live bears other than Heterandria formosa in the future. But I just really admire what Greg Sage does. He takes these fish um, you know, these incredibly rare endangered fish and makes them into these beautiful, beautiful animals that everyone wants to have. So maybe one day, um, you know, if I ever get a real fish room, I could have like a 50 gallon, a 55 gallon tank and put those amazing, um, what are they called? They're, they're sword tails, but they have the gigantic dorsal fin like uh I'll have to look them up but um anyway Greg Sage I order I'm ordering some levamisole so some worm uh anti-worming medication because I'm a little worried that my better rubra may have worms a few of them are really thin and aren't eating very well so I got levamisole for them and then on his website, he says that he has these um, room temperature white worms. So they're like white worms that don't need to be kept in a wine cooler. So I love uh, having live food for all my fish. And you know, if there's any way to have any variety that's not going to be terribly difficult to implement, then I want it. So um, I want to try these white worms and see if they really are. Uh, room temperature white worms and I plan on keeping them in the drawer eh, under here oh I can't move it I'm sitting on the ground um <laughs> over there or on that shelf over there somewhere so I am excited to see what these look like so let's go ahead with the unboxing video so as to be expected from Greg Sage this box is like super well packaged Ooh, eh. super well packaged on all sides, taped completely on all sides. So, ah, there you go. I love these forms. Oh, look, nice heat pack, still warm. It took an extra day to get here. So that's good. Let's see what we have. So we have, ooh, a really nice manual from uh, Greg Sage. So here we have what I ordered. Levamisole, hydrochloride, white worms, um, shipping, of course, and then uh, heat pack. So there you go. Okay, so here is a photocopy of the Levamisole stuff. Okay, so he gets the big package and then he um, um, sells smaller packages of it. So uh, here are the white worm stuff. So here it says, these are not the standard white worms maintained in the hobby. Um, fed in large quantities, supplemented by balanced vegetable and carnivorous based flaky pellet foods. Yeah, that's another thing I want to start doing. I always feed just cat food to my worms because it's so easy, but I want to start feeding them different kinds of food. So, okay, so he recommends larger containers, three to five quart shoebox type containers. Um, I'm going to try them in cocoa fiber. Um, I don't know. I just like the cocoa fiber from worms. So we'll try it in cocoa fiber. And, um, he says repeatedly that they are very sensitive to, um, how moist the medium is. So I have to be really careful about that. So yeah, looks like, let's see, here we feed powdered chicken feed. They came into this fish room as a contaminant in that feed. Hmm. Um, let's see, raw oatmeal, instant potatoes, and other types of food white worms are normally fed. 
Interesting. Maybe I'll try chicken feed. I don't know where I can buy chicken feed close to San Francisco, but... So, oh, this must be the white worm culture. So here it is, white worms, room temp. They look like regular white worms, and you can see he's packaged them in this thing. This thing looks like it's full of white worms. Oh my goodness. See, normally I'd be freaking out trying to get them cold, but it just seems strange that these are room temperature white worms. They definitely, ooh, oh jeez, would not be a video without me dropping something, <clears throat> honestly. Um, yeah, they look like regular white worms. They don't look morphologically any different. Looks like they got plenty of peat in there. So uh, I'll look at that and then let's see the lavanda sauce. This must be it. So, some lavanda. Oh, wait. Is this lavanda sauce? Oh, is this the lavanda sauce? What is that? I don't think it looks like there's anything else in here. I'm so confused. Is this the chick? Is this chicken feed? I'm really confused. This must be the Levamisol. Yeah, this is definitely Levamisol. I feel like medication wouldn't be just in a bag like that. Let me reread the directions and see if he. <laughs> if that's. If that is a. If that's chicken feed. Um, room temperature, excessively hot or cold. It's discovered. Jesus. Um, Form on the surface. Huh. I guess I can try and smell it. Hold on. Okay, so I wafted it in, you know, to try and smell it, and it definitely smells like chicken feed. And I know, because I used to keep chickens as a kid, as pets, so pretty sure it's chicken feed. I am going to triple check by emailing Greg. <laughs> I don't want to feed my worms something wrong. But anyway, super happy with this culture. This looks like a huge starter. Um, so yeah, I'm going to have to get these into a new home and see how they do. And then I'm going to be medicating my better rubra with the Lavanna salt. Now it'll be another video. Anyway, this is awesome. Thank you so much, Greg Sage at Select Aquatics for all you do for the hobby. And uh, I will definitely be ordering again. Hopefully someday I can have those huge live bears that I still can't remember the name of. They're the one that have like the gigantic dorsal, like the almost circular dorsal and the one that needs to be in like ginormous tanks. Um, you, you could tell, no. Not, I have to remember. But anyway, thank you so much, Greg Sage, for all you do.